improve my chances with the ladies, I've recently written some feminist cat calls. Um, so I'll give you some examples, you can use these yourselves. For example, I would respect her opinions. <laughs> She'd get it if I made an erudite joke about politics. <laughs> I'd give her one job for which she's appropriately qualified. <laughs> um, and uh, that's, that's kind of an interesting way in, because um, I've, I've recently mainly just been watching a lot of television. Um, there's been a great ad campaign recently for a company called Oak Furniture Land. Um, now, what you will initially notice about Oak Furniture Land is they are not fucking about, right? You've got questions. What do they sell? Furniture. What is it made of? Oak. Is it at sea? No. <laughs> is it a sovereign nation, like Swaziland? It's not really clear. Um, and uh, the great thing about this ad is that it mainly features people going around knocking on bits of oak furniture going It's real wood! <laughs> As if there are people, let's call them real wood connoisseurs, who are sitting at home listening to that sound and going Sounds like real wood to me, that's what we'll go for our wood. Um, and then the ad sort of gets more bizarre because it goes on to this bit where sort of large pieces of oak furniture just teleport into people's homes. And far from being alarmed, these people are thrilled that their toddler's just been replaced by a sideboard. Like, we don't need Johnny now, we have more storage. Um, and I also wonder, you know, why is this an enticement to go to Oak Furniture Land? They deliver at random for free. Um, but it's not actually the strangest thing you can see on TV. I recently stumbled across a program called um, New Zealand Highway Patrol. Um, now, if you're not familiar with New Zealand Highway Patrol, it's much like the American Highway Patrol uh, programs, where you have like a crackhead in a Ferrari being chased by like some police, a tank, and a bird of prey. But um, it's got a kind of subtle Kiwi twist. So um, you know, there's sort of the trooper in this one bit. Sort of, he pulls up behind a car, pulls it over, he gets out, and he walks over, just goes there. Do you uh, do you know I'm stopping you there? Uh, I know to be honest, mate. I never really got any idea. Well, you're not wearing a seatbelt? <laughs> oh, you know, I just kind of left the house in a bit of a hurry and I forgot to put it on there. Well, that's hardly very safe, is it? <laughs> I suppose it's not. I suppose I'm kind of taking my life in my hands. You're damn right you're taking your life in your hands then. Now, what are we going to do about it? Oh, I don't know. Well, you could put your seatbelt on. All right, I'll put, put my seatbelt on. What do, we, what do we do now? Well, I'll let you off this time. But next time, there will be consequences. And then you think, at some point, a TV commissioner in New Zealand sat down and watched that pilot and thought, fuck me, mate, this is some high-octane shit. <laughs> this is just what the people of the North Island need.